right, so here he is, the man they call Biggie Boy and the first native of Little Suriname to cross into the UFC. Heavyweight contender and a bona fide one at that, Jarzinho Rosenstruck. Outstanding rookie here in the UFC in 2019. Won all four of his fights, all four of them by knockout. None bigger, of course, than that lip separation of Alistair Overeem that set up a future fight with Francis Ngannou. A lot of people feel like Rosenstrike is the future. They'll try to be the present here tonight. So here he is, Ty Bam Bam Tuivasa. You can argue he is the most popular heavyweight on planet Earth. No sooner does this man's face pop up on the Jumbotron, people start pouring beers into shoes. But that says nothing of just how good an athlete this is, how much power he brings to the octagon. So proud to represent his people in New South Wales, Australia. But there was a time when Tuivasa was on the cusp of contention. He's been a little bit up and down in his career. Extended losing streaks have been followed by prolonged winning streaks. Look at a kickstart, another one here tonight against another credentialed ranked UFC heavyweight contender. the tape for this, our main event of the evening. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Yazinho Biggie Boy Rosenstrike! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Ty Bam Bam Tuivasa! Herb Dean, third man in the octagon Ready. tonight. Good. All right, early round action here. Biggie Boy Jarzino Rosenstrike has talked to us a lot about getting off to a better start. He is an outstanding counter striker, but sometimes you've got to force the issue. And Rosenstrike told us, to a man, to a woman, I got to get aggressive here tonight. Didn't see that one coming. Gets tagged with a nice combination to the head. Straight punch is true. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Got the single collar tie. Trading heel shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, and he counted him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Early round action here. Captain Hook lands on the kickboxer. Beautifully timed and placed there. And a strong way to start on the feet. Kickboxers love the high guard. The way to fight the high guard is to throw things around the side. That hook is a very good shot that can land against a guy with that tight high guard. Just over three minutes to go, round one. On point with that jab today. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it. You're going into fight. Heavy on the cut. Heavy on the cut. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, nice. He's hurt bad. 
Under two minutes to go. In a oh! Oh, this could just about do it. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. If you knock that ball, take your time. He's ripe for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> he can't even stand. Under a minute to go. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, huge kick to the leg. Attack that cut, Morgan. Let's go. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, my goodness. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 50 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Yezinho, Biggie Boy, Rosenstrike! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.